I'm a nurse. I work for the city of Toronto. I work at McDonald's. I'm a locomotive engineer for Via Rail. I work at an office. I'm actually a chef. I work for a power transmission components company. And I work for a pipeline company. We love the sport and that was what brought us together. The motto that we had was always be good to each other or get the fuck out. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> When you look at the league, it's just broad strokes of everybody who's doing it from all walks of life. We kind of joke about it being the island of misfit toys, like everybody who loves axe throwing loves it from a different place, but in the end it's always the same thing. It's a huge, huge social atmosphere. Like yeah, the, the axe throwing is great and fun, but you're here to meet new people. You can come here, you meet a whole bunch of people from all walks of life that you know you wouldn't meet maybe otherwise. I get to interact with uh, a lot of groups, get to teach people how to throw axes, and just have fun. Mondays are my worst day at work, so I look forward to coming here and throwing an axe for a while. Axe throwing to me is pretty badass and a uh, great way to get out some aggression. We've had a really bad day at work. We call ourselves the Battle Axe Betties and it's, it's a perfect term because we're just here to have fun and throw some axes. We didn't care about skill, we always just cared about you being good to everybody else. The inclusive versus exclusive idea. We want to be inclusive, we want to include everybody. The initial reaction is just kind of like, like, what the fuck? They start to laugh and they go axe throwing. I've never heard of that. That's crazy. People usually freak out when I tell them that I axe throw. They, they're a little surprised. Seems people that chuck axes are really down to earth. Folks from all different walks of life. Everybody from an insurance uh, agent to a professional chef to me at the time who was a funeral director. We love the sport and that was what brought us together. Anybody can throw axes. Like, absolutely anybody. It's hugely diverse. We throw with people of all ages, all sizes, men, women. It's a blast. A lot of, a lot of women are discouraged because they think, oh, you got to be big and strong to be able to throw an axe and have it stick. And it's like not the case at all. You don't need to be a strong person to be good at axe throwing. So if you're worried that uh, that's an issue, it's really not. I'm not a big dude by any means. Anybody can throw an axe. I have taught people in wheelchairs, people with different disabilities. Uh, one uh, vet from Afghanistan actually came back and was missing a leg. Got him throwing and sticking bullseyes. The oldest person I've had throwing an axe is 92 years old, who actually beat his grandsons multiple times uh, in their tournament. Pregnant ladies, uh, people who are like 90 to 100 pounds. It's really not a sport that requires strength. It's a sport that is very unique. Anybody can do it, absolutely. There have been paraplegics who can do it. It's, it's very, very simplistic. There's nothing more joyful than seeing somebody who's, who's super small and tiny going up against their giant friend and having them completely whip their buddy who is, you know, who's super athletic just because they pay attention to the coaching and, and get the idea of finesse versus power. Everyone can compete. Doesn't matter your size, your strength, men, women. It's everyone's equal in, in axe throwing. We are tribal men who only have men who are to fire and feel, to prove to kill and feel. We are